Hi, I'm Holger Peterson, and I'd like to introduce you to a new recording by Kenny Blues Boss Wayne on Stony Plain Records. Make up your mind, baby, you got me so confused. Make up your mind, baby, you got me so confused. You treat me bad, you seem to be amused. Kenny Blues Boss Wayne was in Alberta recently, recording his new album. It's called Inspired by the Blues. It was recorded at Dan Lynn Studios in Sherwood Park, just outside of Edmonton, and engineered by the great Miles Wilkinson, including Russell Jackson on bass and upright bass. Joey DeMarco is featured on drums. He's a longtime uh, drummer with Kenny Blues Boss Wayne. Yuji Ahara is actually from Japan, and he's a young up-and-coming blues guitar player. We're so fortunate to have him on this record. We're all really proud of this new record, and I think one of the reasons is that uh, Kenny's voice has never sounded better or warmer, and in big part that's due to the recording studio and uh, Miles Wilkinson, who was the recording engineer. When I talk to my babies like talking to old big wall. When I talk to my babies like talking to old big wall. Dave Babcock was featured on various horns. Uh, Dave is a great arranger and uh, did all the horn arrangements on this new recording. It's very similar to my, my other records, but a little taste different. It might be a little spicy this way, a little spicier that way, uh, but I think the root is pretty much the same. I bring us some little different fruit. Kenny's new record features a lot of his influences from his time growing up. His father was a preacher, so there's some gospel influence there. He's, of course, a great boogie-woogie piano player, so we have some instrumentals. Also, uh, spending a lot of time in New Orleans and being influenced by Fats Domino. Around the corner, across the field. I think Fats has always kind of been, uh, it's always been positive and happy. Uh, when you when you play those those Fats Domino songs, you know people get up and they're, they dance and they feel good. He's been a, a wonderful image as well uh, as as far as uh, uh, a musician, a family man. You know he loves New Orleans. He loved the music, uh, and, and he's. He stayed there and, and passed on there. Ain't that a shame? He had to go. He is much a part of us still. He's where the wind and the willow blows on Blueberry Hill. Kenny's really developed into a great songwriter. He gets better and better, and I think he uses his own background and his own experiences to tell his own stories. So it's a kind of a mixture of a lot of things. It's about about life. Um, then I write, and then I wrote a song, maybe more about myself, which 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 Holger likes, where I actually was talking about how I got started uh, in the blues and my father being a minister. Uh, in, in, in Los Angeles and how all that came about uh, where I made various ch musical changes but I came back to the blues. I was brought in a church in LA town you can hear the blues all around on 
Saturday night Music was loud Here come the police Break up the crowd Well somehow I knew Lord I'm sitting here playing the blues Kenny Blues Boss Wayne's new record is called Inspired by the Blues with special guests Billy Branch and Duke Robillard. It's proudly on Stony Plain Records. About half past ten My father's preaching People said amen Then Monday morning 